Hey guys, and welcome back for another video. I got asked a question on one of my videos about my protein skimmer setup, and I'm just gonna do a short video on that. Uh, so let's get into it. So one of the things that I did uh, just to get started is I actually raised my protein skimmer up. Now you'll notice back here, it's actually sitting on the rest of my ice cap and I'm not even using this magnet back here at all so it's just sitting on top now the reason I did that is because I was really having a hard time breaking this thing in and honestly I could probably set it lower now that it is broken in but it's a lot easier for me to set the cup inside because otherwise this screw right here is not too great at uh, at holding the uh, the plastic piece in, so it always seems to slide down. So in order to prevent that, I just made it really easy to take in and out by being able to lift it up. Now, again, I do sacrifice the looks of it on the outside, but I don't mind that much. Um, so yeah, that's, that's basically it. It did take me a little bit to break this thing in, I'd say honestly a good, you know, a couple weeks. I used live bacter and a bunch of live live sand and whatnot for the tank to help it get started. Um, so it did take a little while, but as you can see now, it's got some solid gunk in there, and it's been working great. Um, I do unplug the ice cap as of right now when I do water changes and whatnot. So the skimmer doesn't go absolutely bonkers. So I recommend you do that. Um, and I also turn off my uh, power head here because this one doesn't have feed mode. The power head down here does. Um, so when I feed, I turn that one down there that one, the protein skimmer off, and then the power head over on the side here swishes all the food around. Um, so that way, uh, that way, uh, you know, the fish can still get out the food. So anyways, I don't wanna make this video too long, so that's how I got it set up. And uh, uh, I guess one quick thing is I got my heater uh, my sensor for my auto top off, which is here. I have sump there, metal uh, uh, mount for my AI Prime HD, and then filter floss cup, filter, and then I actually folded the sponge, as you can see there. That way when the water comes up from the pump, it actually goes through the sponge and then through. So just a little extra filter. Um, if you guys have some good ways uh, that you do yours, drop them in the comments below. I'm always down to learn something new, but that's what I'm doing for now. So just a little close-up shot of everything in the tank. It's all looking healthy and good. Uh, for you tank police out there, uh, I just introduced this hippo tank today. So, so far so good. Not really nipping at each other, but they, the purple tang definitely wants to show his stuff to the blue hippo. Uh, we're moving here in a couple months, and I have a big surprise, and I mean big. These guys will definitely be happy in their new home. Um, so yeah, this is just a little temporary deal, so don't get too, too mad at me. Uh, but yeah, we'll call that a quits, and uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, drop them below, and... Have a great day.